Right, hello everybody, welcome to Match Day 6 of Rebel. Hopefully this, I'm still going to have a YouTube, so I'm still recording the VODs for YouTube. Uh, <laughs> so there's my disgusting team. Five tacklers, which is quite good against Dark Elves, isn't it? Um, loads of Claw Mighty and piling on. Um, and loads of TV versus this remnants of a team. <laughs> he's only got six rostered players, but he's got massive, massive inducements. And I mean, he's already got players that can do stuff, can't he? He's got an Edge 5 Leaper here, a low on movement 6. And another movement six. He's got two movement six blitzers, but he's got strength four and he's got blodge, so you know. With a wizard, and he's probably going to get uh, Roxana and Hubris, maybe, or Eldril and Roxana, and all sorts of stuff. So, um. What's he going to get? He's got a wizard and apple. Eldril. What's he not going to get exactly, yeah? Uh, probably Roxana and... No, Bribe? Roxana and an Apple, wouldn't it? Uh, Roxana and a Babe, that's what he should have got, I think. That's probably what he will get. Surely he's thought about this before. A lineman. Yeah, strength 4 on Edge 5. But the, the Edge 5 is move busted. Oh, he's got a lineman level 2. And babe. Well, I disagree about his choice of inducements here. Personally, um, a, a bribe and a lineman over like Roxana Darknail. Oh yeah, DP lineman. Still, you know, you're buying a you're buying a wizard, so you might as well get Roxana as well, right? And Eldril, you've got Eldril. I think you probably should have got a. <laughs> Hello, Calcium. I'm mean, not saying he's wrong, but it, I don't agree with it, you see. I'm not everything that's right about Rubble. I'm not right every single thing I say, but I don't like it. I don't like it. Um, if I was him and I was getting the wizard, I would have probably gone with two stars. Rather than a bribe and a dirty player elf. Wee, wee, wee. Yes, Winkle, I do like, I do like the... Uh, Thing. He is kicking because he's got a wizard, which makes sense. And let's see, it is a dirty player. Um, I mean, it's not going to stop me fouling, is it? Uh, stop me, it's not going to stop me piling on, is it? But uh, fair enough. It's a bit of a weapon, and he can cause some damage. <laughs> oh, Rage Poo 2000. Uh, thanks. <laughs> Yeah, you can always afford more than it's a bad choice, yeah. Yeah, yeah, DP, Lyman and a bribe. Yeah, I, I do feel like Roxana would have been better than that. But obviously, you know, um, maybe this will work out for him. But it is dicey, isn't it? And you could argue that you've got to rely on the dice when you're this disadvantaged in teams. But on the other hand, I feel like uh, if you'd taken Roxana, you'd have had two Edge 5 and Eldril and a Wizard. And that would have given him a much better chance of winning. But there you go. Just just my opinion. Isn't it? Just my opinion. Obviously his opinion's different. <laughs> yeah, if he if he gym fouls a couple of times he's done, isn't he? Yeah, so calling the great Cheezix, of course. Cheezix the uh the best player known to man, he's an absolute legend in on on Blood Bowl is uh Cheezix and according to him according to him uh, <laughs> playing a team that relies only bad players play teams that rely on causing casualties. So there you go. You learn something every day. Only a bad coach would possibly use chaos. <laughs> according to Cheezix. <laughs> <laughs> a stupid man, yeah, maybe. <laughs> Alright. Does he have kick? Doesn't look like it. He hasn't got many skills left. <laughs> um.
Mais c'est pas qu'il m'en va. Non, non, c'est une fragrance. Oh, oh, oh. Rien à voir avec du parfum, Bob. Tu aimes Ça s'appelle yeah. la charogne numéro 6. Le quick snap. Oh, 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 oh. Oui, oui, oui. Plim plom plou. 4, 5, 6, 7. We can start with a 3D here. Very exciting. Take the ball down so that I'm safer. Protected from his dirty player. Absolutely fuck all. That was quite good because he was pushing me at an extra block anyway, wasn't it? For fuck's sake! Absolutely spectacular gym dice there. Fuck's sake. Three D though. <laughs> well, he is well and truly wrecked. It looks like this is going to go the same as last time we played here. Eh? What can you do? Sometimes, sometimes you just get diced, as uh, as uh, Artemis Black would say. Absolute dice. Can only touch me, can't you, with him? <laughs> the one is very hot. Really gay. Really. God damn it. Il faut en découvrir mano à mano, Bob. Pas pour ça. Il faut se rapprocher jusqu'à sentir la laine de l'adversaire. Blitzing a shitter. That's always nice to see, isn't it? He doesn't have mighty blow for this game either, which is fantastic. He didn't induce. He did not induce uh, hubris, which is nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's. I mean, you know, it's just is what it is, isn't it? It's a nature of high TV chaos. They mostly cause a lot of damage. When they don't cause a lot of damage, they struggle. Just is what it is. Gonna be an instant removal here, isn't it? No, outrageous. Outrageous. Yeah. Oh, la, la. Tu te bien de ne pas 
Oulala This is a pretty fucking gym game so far, isn't it? You can always run back with him as well. It's always an option, isn't it? But he's not going to be able to do anything with a wizard here. I don't think. This would be a juicy one in nine, wouldn't it? He's not thinking of greeting that, was he? Surely not. Hey, bribe gun. <laughs> Fucking getting out bashed. Literally unbelievable. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Geophyte hit him. And he's got sidestep and everything. He's the Adge 5. The, the Adge 5 is better, isn't he? Can blitz the Adge 5 here. He's going to be quite far away. Fourth got an assist. Just one of them games, I guess. Just one of them games, I guess. <laughs> oh, 
man. I mean, I had to go for the hit on the good player, I think. I think I had to go for the hit on the good player there. Unfortunately, it means he can't foul with a dirty player now because I'm in range. He doesn't even need a GFI. Oh my god, he's in slow motion. I mean, it's not really fine. Like, it's it's fine because he's got such a better team than him. But if he was a 2k... If he was a 2k... I mean, could you imagine if he was a 2k Dark Elf team? This would be going terribly. Terribly. I mean, this would be so unbelievably bad if he was a 2k team. I'm just lucky that he's, you know, he's got a 1300, well, a 1500 team. It's it's still going badly. It's still going really badly. Two players down on my drive, getting out bashed by a fucking nothing team. It's pretty bad. Yeah, it's, it's, not, it's not fine. This is not fine, Lemon is good. This is so not fine. <laughs> this is so, so not fine. You know, it's not fine. This is not fine. This is like fine how Brexit is fine. It's really so not fine. It's merely bad as opposed to game endingly, losingly bad. It's just pretty bad. It's just really bad. Really bad. On a scale of one to Space Cadets ball protection, it's like. It's just bad. I can hit him. Well, it's a frenzy trap, but you know. What what uh, what other option do I have apart from to go for a frenzy trap at this point? I don't have any options because it's going terribly. It's not going fine at all. Let's put him there. Fucking hell, it's gone awful, isn't it? It's gone so bad. Good. At least our has gone. <sighs> so bad, though. At least only getting out bashed by one now. But he's got the wizard as well and edge five guys. I mean, I've blocked him loads. It's turn four and I've made zero removals. That's already going pretty bad. Sideliner, yeah, I'll do a sideliner. Paper. Investigate Brexit. Oh, Yellowhammer report. Let's read the entire Yellowhammer report. That's a good idea, isn't it? Right. There's only six pages. Well, this is brilliant. This is easily doable in one in one rebel turn. Oh, 
course he doesn't get sent off. Why would that ever happen? This is the frenzy one. <sighs> right. Three more turns after this. If I blitz there, which I kind of have to. I'm going to put a guy in here to make it a better push. I think I'm going to have to not buy one here. Outrageously. Outrageous non-pile. Do apologise. Just keep jamming in down the sideline. Still a bit of time to swap sides. Can't believe there's only six, uh, six pages of the yellow hammer thing. That's crazy, isn't it? I could read it. I could literally read it all out over the course of a fucking. Uh, over the course of a rebel game, that's fucking crazy, isn't it? <laughs> Johnson suspended Palmer for sure if he was in a rebel tour. <laughs> oh dear. Yes, Ripper Doc, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. He could do a big fireball, but if he does a big fireball like that, he's less likely to pop the ball, isn't he? And less likely to create an avenue to the ball. So, there'll be no disruption of electricity or gas interconnectors. That's nice, isn't it? Medicines and medical supplies. Oh, yes. Finally doesn't break, finally doesn't knock over, but then greeds it. Dirty Dino. Didn't have a reroll there, did he? That was like dodging away from tackle. He's getting these fouls in. That should be fucking up his defense, especially if he gets sent off here and I get to punch that guy. Will he get sent off though? Nah, will he fuck? He'll just continue. Continue to foul every turn, not getting sent off. I mean, that was terrible, doing that foul before getting these. I mean, look at that. I would have blocked him, blitzed him, and I'm down and safe and scored. Like, just score. <laughs> if he gets sent off there. Oh, man. That's fucking annoying. One in three to just, to just lose the drive. No problem. Outrageous. Well, he still just decided to uh, give up the drive. I don't really know why. That's weird, isn't it? I don't understand. I mean, as much as he can, of course, despite having a massive numbers advantage. Obviously, Dark Elves versus Chaos. The Chaos are bound to get uh, bound to get heavily outnumbered. What kind of crazy game would we be playing if they weren't heavily outnumbered? By Dark Elves. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
And I guess he's done the old uh, the old thing of giving you enough rope to hang yourself, hasn't he? I can get forward, but if I get I can't get too far forward, and then he can get back. But I can get a bit forward and hopefully get some people out in ahead. He wants to get out ahead. Oh man, this is the most disgusting thing ever. Jesus Christ. I can go up there. He can go there. You can GFI, and then you can probably do some kind of clever uh, chain push play. What if I go here? Okay, I'll go out and worry about if it's a good idea afterwards. Yeah, uh, because it's nine if you don't use claw, you must check. So he gets a big fireball in, of course knocks over the ball. Absolutely standard. <laughs> yeah, humorous Jim, <gym>, yeah. <laughs> uh, not really, I mean, what did he want from it? He wanted this guy to go down, would have been nice for him. But removed and going down doesn't help that much. Um, I guess if both of these go down, he wants the ball to go down. Obviously, I don't feel like it was a great wi wizard. Like obviously, I was lucky that nobody got killed from it. Nice, but I don't feel like he had great recovery options. That was amazing bounce. <laughs> that was a godly bounce. That that is very that was very lucky. He still got he still got the edge five though, so it's still pretty easy for him to just pick it up and score. Like it's still really easy for him. To be fair, saying he didn't have a great route, he kind of needed the ball to go down. He kind of needed the ball to go down, so it was a pretty shit wizard, I think, actually. Shit fireball. He should just bolted. Probably. But he got the fifty fifty. Yep. Yeah, but he didn't have the ways to hit the ball. That's what I was thinking when I said I said recovery. He didn't have ways to hit the ball, right? If he didn't get the ball down, even if he did all these three, it still wasn't great for him to run around and hit the ball. So it was pretty much he just had to have the. Uh, he pretty much just had to get the knockdown there, and the ball carrying did. Yeah. But it was it was he had to get the ball down. He should just bolt. I think he should just bolted. Yeah, the point was he couldn't have hit the ball if he hadn't knocked him over. So that's what the, I think the fireball was a bad fireball. That's what I'm saying. Because yes, the recovery is fine. The recovery is never going to be a problem for him with that five. Really. Yeah, that's really greedy, isn't it? <laughs> that's really greedy. Because he's got edge five, he just needs the ball down, doesn't he? I just, I just think it's wrong. I think it's completely wrong in such side to to do that because it's not good. Not when it's so easy for you to just win. 
<laughs> like he was basically a two plus to win, but he made it a four plus to win instead. Oh baby. <laughs> well that was alright. Shame he knocked over uh, the frenzy guy, isn't it? Well that's that's very nice. Oh good. <sighs> Man. Alright. One, two, three, four. No, I've got I've got I've got four people to protect the ball, but one of them has to be the one that does the blitz. One, two, three. He wants to go there. He can only get to no, he can get to here. He has to go there. One, two, three, four, five, six. So he goes first to here. He goes to there. Le ballon est en sécurité. À l'autre équipe de prouver le contraire. He goes to there. Of course it is. Yeah. Why would why would anything work? If a pile he just fouls me. Whereas this way he's got to at least fucking hit him. I mean this is stupid, isn't it? Getting out bashed by fucking dark elves again. Again! <laughs> the same Dark Elf team that outbashed me last time is outbashing me again. Injustice. <laughs> it, was a f it was a lucky interception, but... Um... God, it was annoying to not do anything there. It's still going to be hard for him to get even a one dice here, isn't it? Yeah, he you know, well, he gets that, of course he does. <laughs> he needed a knockdown there, which he gets. And he can put the guard in for a 1D on the ball. But at least that's his recovery. At least that's his recovery, guy. No, yeah, at least I got some luck, yeah. No, it's not like a complete dicing, is it? Like, obviously the fireball could have killed two or three players. <laughs> Blood Bowl can always be worse. But um, when you're getting outbashed by 1,500 Dark Elves, there's 2,300 TV Chaos. <laughs> I think it's reasonable <laughs> to maybe not be overjoyed. <laughs> 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 yeah, I mean, I, I could have just lost it. Obviously, after he did the fireball, he could have he could have completed the pass and been away and, and just won. Thanks, Lemon is good. Yeah, it, is, it really does help. Oh, only a push! Hey! Unbelievable, Jeff! Outrageous! Oh, this guy having fucking sidesteps a bit of a fucking shit. Oh, so I'm gonna blitz him with him, can't I? Probably. Ah, uh, but then he's got sidestep. Right. So he can just push to here, and he doesn't matter where he, where he sidesteps to. It's safe, isn't it? This is pretty Oh, but I've still got a dodge from him. He doesn't have diamond tackle, does he? He's got jump up, he doesn't have diamond tackle. So actually, 
it, does anything matter? <laughs> Maybe I just surf him. to surf him that sounds easy doesn't it at least I've got the reserves to make up for the outbashing that I've received <laughs> well technically equal bashing now Jesus. But yeah, now it's not going terribly because he's going to have 11 and might have 11. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm likely to lose at least. Oh, yeah, no spoilers, dirty Dino. <laughs> no coaching. I mean, I would have liked to have been able to clear with blocks, but I don't think I could have cleared with blocks. That was the thing. Obviously, the idea would have been to clear with blocks. But I don't think it was possible to clear with blocks. So, actually, maybe you should have handed off as well, because then I could have got the star player points on a player rather than him. So. Blitz, perfect. Usual time I get a blitz there. <laughs> yeah, I know, but no, but it, it, it kind of, it, it, if it had been one minute turns, I guess you could say it was. Because you could have assessed that I couldn't chain him free or anything. Um, I think there might have been a chain free. It obviously didn't help that sidestepper was stuck on him. But there could have possibly been a chain free. Maybe or something, you know. I like ways to block and blitz to get him free. Like fill in the gap and punch him with that other guy. And then blitz with the ball carrier or the one above him or something. So maybe there was a way to do it without, with just blocks. Maybe. And obviously if there was, that's much better. It's obviously much better if you can do it by two dice blocks. Looking for a push is better than a three plus dodge, isn't it? <laughs> you might have to remind me to breathe in a four minute turn, yeah, when for... Oh, I don't know, humorous chimp. I don't know why they're so hard line on it, because obviously it doesn't matter, does it? But <laughs> Seeing as you know, people could no Vulpies, no only been only been KO'd off the pitch, thankfully. Only been KO'd, so. Haven't been too badly beaten up by a fifteen hundred, no kill skill, dark health team. <laughs> Yeah, wizard's gone, yeah. No, it's not awful. No, it's really not awful. The fact that his wizard didn't work, you know, just to me rolling a six. It's just luck that his wizard didn't work. Uh, I thought it wasn't a great fireball, honestly. I thought he should have just bolted the carrier. But, um, the bolt, no, he, he fireballed and got the ball, but I intercepted his, his pass clear. <laughs> 
Uh, it is a Chaos Warrior. Yeah, it is a Chaos Warrior KO'd by Rowdy. Rowdy Dark Elves. So yeah, very lucky to not be 1-0 down. Um, you know, kind of. Kind of very lucky to not be 1-0 down because... But then obviously he was kind of lucky to make the dodge through and pick it up and dodge away and get the 4 plus knock the ball down. So, um, you know, as it happens, very lucky to roll a 6. But... Uh, also very unlucky to have done absolutely nothing to his team. Well, killed Eldril. I mean, that was good, to be fair. Just one kill. You know, taking out Eldril is nice, to be honest. Uh, it was lucky. It was lucky in Sester's side because there was tackle. Okay, he did leap actually, but leap is leap is a two plus without a reroll. You know, the dodge away was a two plus without a reroll, which I think you have to use a pick. Uh, you have to use a team reroll on the four plus to pick up the four plus to knock the ball out in the first place. Um, <laughs> you know, all of the other stuff leading up to it overall was lucky, wasn't it? To still have any players left to make that play. <laughs> To be outnumbering me on my drive. <laughs> so, it's not like I've played shit and just got ridiculously lucky. Him never getting sent off after using the bribe instantly. The first foul was a bribe, then he fouled every single turn and never got sent off. You know? <laughs> He's fouled every turn <laughs> since using the bribe instantly. <laughs> and still hasn't got sent off. There you go. Thanks, game. I knew whining would work. Glorious. Glorious whining activated. Ha 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 ha! Plim plum blue! <laughs> He's quite good to stand there, seeing as they don't have any tackle anywhere. He can blitz him. It sucks that he's got wrestled, but... What the fuck else am I going to do? Please, please don't unsubscribe or unfollow. Alright? <laughs> yes, I didn't pile on. Um... I can only apologize. What can I say? We all have moments if you of want weakness. To be part of team positive, then we all have moments of weakness and that was mine. Stop bitching like a little baby and try and fucking play better, eh? I'm sorry. Nobody's perfect, all right? <laughs> That's fair enough, McNaughton. As we all know, it takes three strikes till you're out anyway, because only an absolute madman would make it two strikes and you're out. That would never happen. That, nobody would ever, nobody on earth ever would ever make a two strikes in your out system so that's okay i can still be a dick after that mcnaughton thank you for that that's no problem a strike i don't mind having a strike <laughs> oh the cheeky 1d pal glorious yeah. <laughs> No, it's three strikes till you're out, McNaughton. Every, everyone knows it's three strikes. Right? I didn't get any strikes on YouTube either. YouTube just straight up fucking banned me without any warnings or any strikes. I'm going to email them again. I'm fucking sick of waiting for them. Fucking month and I haven't heard back from them.
Oh, cheeky GF gun. A handoff. And two tackle zones. That's a three plus. He's rolled a two. He's rolled a double two. He's lost the ball. He's only gone and bloody lost the ball. <laughs> a plim plom fucking blue. Glorious. He can block him. He can block him. He can block him and we can have it fucking cleared. Meat slabs. Who's going to pick it up? A strength four goat. This strength four goat. He can block him and then chain him. I don't really want to scatter though because if it scatters... Um, they might be able to... Um, they might be able to catch it, mightn't they? Oh man, I disgust myself. Oh, do you know I'm going to go for this guy? Just because I don't have tackle on that guy, so I was going to have to, I was going to have to free up anyway, to be honest. <laughs> a plim plom fucking blue. <laughs> Get up there. Jesus. I need to block this one first. Get fucked, you that. little cunt! <laughs> Fuck that off. Still. It's a cheeky three in it. I've got to, I've got to waste the blitz if you like. Next to the fucking f jumpy, jumpy bastard. All right, this is a foul, isn't it? This is a fucking foul, meat slabs. Or it's a block. I think a foul, plus one, dirty player. Otherwise, he's just going to jump in and one dean, isn't he? But then if he jumps in and one dean, he hasn't got the recovery. But then if I block here, then this is only a one d. That's the killer. Because he'd have an assist, and I'd have an assist. So I think that makes the uh, foul more appealing. Good. I mean... If I stand here, he's got to punch him, and then he's got to punch him, so it takes a lot of resources to deal with him. So I guess standing there is alright. Can't believe it wasn't a gym foul, yeah. It's actually gone pretty well now, isn't it? 42 over here. Actual removals coming this half. And obviously the failed, <laughs> the one in nine, <laughs> the unbelievable one in nine <laughs> to give us the ball. It was very nice. We should pile them now. Who wants to score? Thirty. I guess he could. He could as well. Did 
disgusting. Don't you dare hurt my fucking flap fart here. Don't you fucking dare. This nameless journeyman, don't you fucking dare. <laughs> A plim plom fucking plume. Ha 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 ha. Yes. Only one way to go, boy. And you get smashed again. Oh yeah. Let's pile on this time. <laughs> on your bike. <laughs> Get off my fucking pitch, prick. <laughs> Put the guard there to make his lead not so good. And the... No, only one assist still. Shit. On your bike, Russian! The old cheeky one assist foul again. <laughs> On your bike. Glorious. Alright, that's that's pretty safe now with him out, isn't it? The edge five recovery boy is gone. The strength four boy is gone. Now he has the shattered remnants of a team. But he should be one to look, right? He should have been one to look after that uh, wizard. So. And he could have still been two up if he made that one in nine thing as well. So, you know, this wasn't too easy, was it? It could have, it could have ended differently. But now it's looking pretty safe. Though it's never over till it's over, is it, against elves? But it's looking rather good. Now it's looking good. <laughs> now it's looking good, Lemon is good. <laughs> oh ho ho. Nearly made the fatal misclick there. I kind of want the guards to protect the ball, don't I? Well, no, anything can happen, can it? Anything can happen in a game of football. Never over till it's over, especially when elves are around. Oui, oui, oui. One assist foul, I guess so. Full run up as well, cheeky. No choice but the full the full length run up there. Not getting sent off as well. Not about many fouls he made. I think I made four fouls without getting sent off here, which is pretty pretty good.
greedy. <laughs> Another seven in fourteen. Unbelievable. I guess one of the Chaos Warriors, one's out, this guy's got to try and score, hasn't he, somehow. This one's got to get his, get himself into a position to score. Somehow. Oh shit. Phew. There is still the tackle. <laughs> oh, very nice. The tackle is a uh, good skill. <laughs> Plim plomb bleu. Cheeky AV break, pointless AV break. <laughs> and nice little run up on the wrestler. Doesn't even matter because my guy's got wrestle anyway. I was targeting the Roger as a more dangerous sacker, but my guy's got fucking wrestle anyway. <laughs> You can probably get a two assist foul on flat fight here, can't I? Maybe I should have protected flat fight more. Nah, he's just gone for the ball. Good. Le skull. <laughs> no, flat fight, no! Alright. So now Flat Fart has to get safe. <laughs> Number one priority is for Flat Fart to uh, run to safety. Is the port the case for you? Kick this cunt's face off. If you want to be part of Team Positive, then uh, you've got to fucking suck it up. Stop bitching like a little baby. Uh, no incest aside. Piling on. <laughs> Piling on, of course, is what he would get. Despite some people's opinion of piling on not being the best skill in the game, those people are... What I would call wrong. Yeah, the guard one gets piling up. Piling on. Not stand firm, no, piling on. Well, sadly didn't kill him. <laughs> Did nothing to him, really. <laughs> yeah, he <yeah>, was it. <laughs> Dirty Dino. <laughs> um, 
Didn't do anything, right? Didn't do anything. Kaz, Kaz Eldril for a badly hurt anyway. Kaz minus AV to Journeyman, and he got sent off. <laughs> um, he dropped the ball right at my feet, which which helped. To be honest, and it made some chaos. I mean, they're they're a fucking two thousand three hundred TV chaos team. They should they should be making some removals. Shouldn't they? <laughs> it all started with him getting sent off in the foul. Actually, that was that was pretty big. And then some key KOs. Some good fouls, really. Hey, 190k. Alright. Elephant Cupcake. 21 AV breaks. Didn't feel that much, did it? But, um... 26 blocks each. <laughs> I mean, he played well. He limited my blocks and maximised his blocks, didn't he? So, like, it wasn't too crazy. He outbashed me even with him, me having armor 8 as well. But, um. I mean, he's got armor 7 with two chances to break it, right? <laughs> so, although we're both armor 8, his armor 8 is not. not as good as my armor 8. So. There you go, that was glorious. Anyway, still, it was alright. I'm surprised he said it went as about as well as I expected. I mean, I guess once he, once once the uh, wizard didn't work out for him. Otherwise, he could have won or, or drawn, couldn't he? There you go, 6 and 0. Glorious. 2 3 40 TV. <laughs> um, up against Doc Mark next, who's 13th. He's 13th out of 14th. Yeah, his team is also amazing. He's probably got the second best team. I mean, you can see from the TV. He's probably got the second best team in the division. Um, I may get a lot of complaints from Revelers saying, no, I remember a team in 1997 that was better. But uh, Doc Mark seems pretty incredible. He's got loads of stat freaks. He hasn't got much guard. I mean, that's the thing for a dwarf team. He's only got four guard. So he is lacking guard for dwarves. Absolutely. But it's still a, still a crazy team. Um... <laughs> yeah, the interception. But, you know, there's all, all, the, all the other guys leading up to it were... Were good weren't they <laughs> so there you go glorious um thanks for watching if you enjoyed it don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic